One was great at maths, one was great at sports. One was called Pythagoras, and no one can remember the other boy's name. <laughs> Welcome to the BT Young Scientist 2012. Human development and survival depends on math, science and technology answering new questions every day. And math, science and technology is particularly important for us here in Ireland, a little island on the northwest coast of Europe, because us developing you to your full potential is what the future of this country is all about. Whether that's to make the next great scientific discovery, to work in a, a large multinational, or even to start your own business and bring your ideas to the world. This week is about creating tomorrow, but this week is your chance to shine. Thank you. I have to say, when you walk through the door here, you feel the passion and the tenacity and the belief of young people in what they're doing. You see a very bright future in this country, irrespective of the challenges or the difficulties that we face up ahead. Remember, it was on this day in 1922 that insulin was first used in the treatment of diabetes. I hope that many of the projects that are being researched here, that are on display and that will evolve over the next period, will lead to new discoveries, new innovation, and new application in a range of ground breaking areas. So don't be afraid. Uh, to uh, follow your own uh, theory right to the fruition. I also want to see that while science is not taken by every student at junior cell level, that it becomes a core subject of the new junior cell cycle and rhythm because it's so important. And that's why at senior level, government is working on the vice program for physics, for chemistry, and for biology. You see, whoever stands up here in 10 years' time, Whoever, whoever is done in 10 years' time, we want to be in a very different world. And it's coming at us for the related world that we do it. From genetics, the internet, to biotechnology, to nanotechnology, all of these areas, like robotics and animals, are going to change the lives of hundreds of millions of people. You, young scientists down there, will undoubtedly play your part in creating that future, in making that future become a reality. And that's the excitement and the challenge of living for you in working to create the world in which you are going to actually live in. 